Hi. Ooh, what an exciting day, because at last I've got the new motorbike cam going, and um, I took it out for a test ride this morning. Um, before I start, I should explain on this camera that uh, you've got a switch on the back where you can switch between two completely different settings on the camera. I'll just show you some screenshots of what they look like because on this little run I'm going to stop halfway round and use both of them on this one run and um, I'll just explain to you by showing you the screenshots what that means. Okay here's um, position one this is a bit of software that comes with the camera and as you can see I've got it set to 180p full HD quality high white balance auto. Now there's a million different settings on that white balance which is something I'm going to have to mess around with. And when you throw in the fact that they're two completely different positions you can see how complicated it gets. Okay and here's position two. Um, as you can see it's Action HD 720p. Quality high, white balance, again auto. And again, you've got all a load of other options under that white balance. Um, but those are the two. That is how it comes out of the box. And that is what I'm going to be... Those are the two sets of settings I'm going to be testing today. OK, now here's the first clip I'm going to show you. Um, this is in town, and we're on 1080p, the first set of settings. Now, I should explain to you that... Um, on Friday I had new tyres fitted to the bike, so for this entire run um, I'm going to be scrubbing in the tyres. I've only done 20 miles on them. It's very, very cold today as well. It froze overnight. This is 10.30 in the morning. We're going to be going round um, country roads where I suspect there's going to be patches of ice uh, because of the country roads with edges and walls beside them where the sun hasn't filtered through to melt the ice, there's quite likely to be ice on some of the bends, you know, maybe black ice, although I don't think it's that cold, that, or it got that cold overnight. Um, here, here is what, on the first settings, it looks like in town. And I'll just let it run for a bit. Uh, this is uh, Barton Road in Teesbury. It looks quite jerky, doesn't it? I mean, it is quite jerky, uh, both from the vibration, but also it looks to me as if the camera is actually struggling with the amount of data it's processing. It looks like there's sort of little jerkiness there that is caused by something like, you know, the memory or the processor or whatever it is in the camera not quite coping. OK, um, I've detached the audio on this clip because it's not very good audio coming from this camera where it is. Um, it is uh, picking up an awful lot of wind noise. So, no audio, uh, no, no, sorry, no recording from the camera, sound recording from the camera on this bit. But here we go, We've, uh, we're leaving Tewkesbury now and we're going out. I thought I'd show you, I'll, get, I'll show you quite a long clip because this is an A road. We're still in 1080p. This is an A road um, and I'll show you a bit of A road riding and um, a bit of lane riding 1080p as well. Uh, we're just going to go round, round to the end of this road, turn right, then turn left on the Eckington Road in Breeden and then we're going to turn right onto country roads. I'm using the route around Breeden Hill again because um, all my videos are sort of based around Breeden Hill so that we've got, we can reference one to the other. You might want to compare this video with a Mobius cam. There's another video on my uh, feed going around Breeden Hill on a different bike, Kawasaki ER5 that one. Um, 
using the Mobius cam, which I think does a better job at 1080p than this one, frankly. But here we go. Can you see how jerky it is? Not, I'm not talking about vibration. I'm talking about the camera struggling to process all the information it's taking in. Um, it doesn't seem to me to be coping very well at 1080p. So I'm quite surprised by the results of this test, I must admit. Um, I thought it would be a better camera. So I'll just let it run for a bit and uh, you can watch and see what you think. Okay, here we just start coming to breathe. Look at that sky. Look how the white sort of fades into. There's no detail on that tree against the sort of white background. And then the white in the sky sort of disappears and it becomes blue again. Um, that's not how it looks like in real life. Um, I think I've got some fiddling around to do with the white balance on this camera. Although, as you can see, I mean, it's winter. The sun is quite low, so the shadows are quite pronounced. You are actually seeing quite a lot of detail in the shadow, um, and especially along places like this where you've got light, dark, light, dark. Uh, it's not doing too bad a job exposure-wise. Although, in the, if you look at the wall on the left there, you see in the really bright places, is it slightly overexposed? Yeah, it looks a bit like there, right? It looks really bleached out, that wall, doesn't it, where, um, where the sun was hitting it. And we seem to be seeing like the white, the white side of that house, gable end of that house, was sort of merging into the white sky. Um, I don't know why that sky is white. As you can see, the sun sun's out quite strongly, and the sky is in fact blue. But again, it's it's still looking a bit jerky to me. I mean, this isn't smooth. Um, not as smooth as I would hope at 1080p for a camera that cost 180 quid. OK, we're going to turn left here onto the Eckington Road. That was Breeden. Um, I'm going to turn left here onto the Eckington Road. Again, I remind you, I'm not going quickly because of the tyres. So having to scrub them in. Nowhere on this video do I go above 60, and most of the time I'm going about 50. Um, so here we go. And look how jerky this is. Yeah, that is very jerky, isn't it? Um, not quite to the point of being unwatchable, but it's not pleasant to look at. It's as if um, you're missing frames or something like that. That's Breeden Hill, by the way, in the distance. Yeah. Not very happy with that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't leave the camera on these settings for general use on my motorbike because um, it's just not good enough. It's not smooth enough. Yeah, I'll let it run a bit longer.
Well, as you can see, that bit we've just been through, really, really vibratory, isn't it? Jerky. Um, you can also see the road surface here isn't terribly good. It's beginning to break up and there's this huge, great ridge right in the middle of the lane, um, which is some sort of divot that goes round those corners. But we're about to turn off uh, just up here. Not this house, the next house along. Um, there's a turning right. Um, where we start to go on more minor roads, so the um, the hedges close in, the road is narrower, um, and you get different sort of lighting conditions, because we're about to do 90 degrees. Um, as I say, I wouldn't leave it on these settings uh, for general use, it's just not good enough, it's too jerky. And here we're going to turn right, onto country roads, onto the road to uh, the Combatons. And uh, here we go. Yeah, it looks like it's dropping frames the whole time. It looks like it's just too jerky. Although, again, we're going through light and dark here. It actually copes with the difference between light and dark better than the Mobius, I think. Uh, I don't know what this lorry's doing. Okay, that was 1080. Now I've swapped, I've stopped, and I've swapped to 720p. And also, these new settings give it a wider angle lens as well. It's 180 degree lens uh, rather than 120 um, in 720p. And I think as soon as we start, we notice an improvement. Now, this is perhaps unfair, we're going absolutely straight into the sun there, uh, which of course is low because it's winter. Um, but it's still picking out detail. Well, it's still it's still not bad. It's still coping quite well exposure-wise. Um, it hasn't gone all dark. You can't see nothing. You can see something the whole time, um, even though the sun is shining directly into the lens, which would expect you. It has darkened the hedges a bit. Um, so if it's taking a metering off that, then you know you'd expect some distortion. But in fact, it's doing fine, and I think. This extra wide angle as well, the extra 60 degrees of angle, of uh, wide angle, actually suits going along on the bike better. Because although at 720p you're undoubtedly going to lose some detail, if you look, the vibrations, because, because the camera isn't struggling so much, and it's not adding its own sort of um, juddering to the footage, you're just getting the vibration from the actual bike and it's not too bad is it? I mean that is a lot better. The other advantage of 720p of course is that it produces much smaller files and this camera hasn't got the option on it to record in um, five minute or two minute chunks like car cams have. Um, it doesn't start and stop with, um, I've got it just running on battery obviously because it's a motorbike, it's not plugged in to the bike's electrical system. And so that's the country bit with uh, 720p. Okay, and here we are, we're um, just joining the A46, we've gone off the country roads, this is the main um, Tewkesbury Evesham Road. And uh, there's a 50 mile an hour limit all the way along this road. And at no stage do I exceed that or accelerate quickly or anything like that because remember I'm scrubbing in the tyres. Um, so we're just going for a nice steady run. Uh, the, ca the sun, as you can see, has moved around to the left, but it's still shining, you know, from quite almost direct, not exactly directly in front of us, but into the camera lens and it's very low and I think it's doing actually quite a good job. This is much better than the 1080p. Uh, you've got the wider angle, you've got enough detail to see what's going on, certainly to make a record in case of an accident or anything like that. And it's a lot smoother because, as I say, the camera isn't introducing its own jerkiness because the uh, process or whatever it is is coping with the amount of data going through. So we'll just let this run for a bit and uh, you have a look and compare it in your mind with the 1080p stuff.
Okay, and lastly, we've got 720p in town. We've come back into Tewkesbury now. And here we're going at sort of sub 30 miles an hour, really. Uh, as you can see, bright sunlight from a low sun. An intense shadow, really, being caused by that sun. And it's actually doing very well. I mean, this is this is perfectly acceptable. You can still see what's going in, in the going on in the shadows. Um, it's nice and smooth. None of that vibration at 1080. So that's a decision we've definitely made. We're definitely going to leave it at 720p. Um, so the next thing to experiment with is the white balance. Um, now there's all sorts of settings under that uh, in those in those boxes. Um, it's sort of cloudy, overcast, heavily overcast. They don't give you the numbers. They've tried to dumb it down and sort of call it by you know uh, what, what members of the public simplify it by calling it that rather than giving you the numbers for white balance, which would actually, if you know what you're doing, would probably make it easier. But um, here we go. This is just what it looks like in town. I think that's perfectly acceptable. Although you can see where it's shining directly on that building, you lose. It does tend to bleach out a bit. Okay, so that is the end of the sample footage. Ooh, I like fiddling around with stuff like this. Right, um, so I think that's the decision made. It's going to stay at 720p. I'm going to mess around with the white balance and possibly some of the other settings if I can find them. And um, we'll get there. The trouble is, see, if I set it up now in the winter with the low sun and what have you, those settings might not be appropriate for when the uh, eventually spring and summer comes. We'll see. Um, there's quite a lot of variables on this cam. But it's going to be fun. And I got out on the bike. And I got my tyres rubbed, scrubbed in a bit longer. So there you go. Motorbike cam is back. Woo!